Ladies and gentlemen, now allow me to uh, place my humble request to the chairperson of this opening ceremony, Dr. Krishna Chandra also the Secretary of the Ministry of Science, Technology and Environment, for the closing remarks. Hello, Secretaries. Chair of Education Board Board, Mr. Mamadou Munaida, IIEG Senior Fellow Dr. Shayan Muhab, distinguished speakers of the dais, distinguished invitees, friends from media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is a matter of great pleasure for us to host the 8th Community Based Adaptation Conference in Kathmandu. On behalf of the organizers, may I take this opportunity to extend our warm welcome to the chief guest of the inaugural ceremony, Right Honorable Prime Minister of Nepal, and all the distinguished participants from around the world who have traveled long distances to join us in this important event and share your valuable experiences and lessons learned. I would like to express our sincere gratitude and heartfelt thanks to the chief guest for accepting our invitation and for inaugurating this international event despite your busy schedule and urgent priorities. Your gracious presence is an evidence of Nepal's commitment to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change Processes, and your valuable address has been inspiring and guiding for us to further commit ourselves to achieve the goal of this conference as well as the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. I feel very delighted by the presence of best minds working on climate change adaptation around the world. Furthermore, your valuable visits to Nepal countryside made this event memorable to all of us. I know some of you suffered the journey, nevertheless, you all arrived safely. I thank you all for your cooperation and adapting to the local situation. I take this opportunity to thank all our partners, the WWF, Care, Practical Action, Salmati, Labor, and IDE for hosting the field trip. I am also thankful to all the distinguished invitees for addressing the opening session of this conference. I am confident this conference will be successful in proposing practical and cost effective adaptation solutions to climate change issues. As rightly mentioned by our chief guest, Honorable Prime Minister, that climate change has become a global problem and it needs collaborative action to overcome. Although the entire world is collaborating to combat climate change through the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change Processes, our efforts are encouraging but not adequate. In order to secure food, water, energy, biodiversity, and human well being, we must further cut down greenhouse gas emissions and invest much more in climate change adaptation at the local level. Distinguished participants, as the chair of the NDC group at the United Nations Climate Negotiations, Nepal has been sincerely mobilizing its resources and putting its best effort to raise the concern of the most current vulnerable NDCs and negotiate to benefit all NDCs. Some of the concerns have been addressed, but much is still awaiting us. It is imperative that climate change processes should be instrumental in reducing greenhouse gas emission and in addressing the urgent need of the NDCs to adapt to changing climate, reduce poverty, and secure sustainable future. As mentioned by previous speakers, Nepal has initiated necessary policy instruments such as climate change policy, national adaptation program, action NAPA, LAPA, national biodiversity <coughs> strategy and action plans, red cross strategy, forestry and agriculture development strategies to support climate actions. Similarly, institutional arrangements have been made to coordinate at various levels. We are also engaged in the implementation of most urgent climate change adaptation measures. Some of our successful implementation includes design and dissemination of input cookie stops, rural biogas plants, community-based forestry programs, micro-hydropower, water cell conservation, water resource protection, efficient water use, payment for ecosystem services, etc. I am happy to share at this August gathering that Nepal Emission Reduction Project idea of FPIN has been endorsed by the ninth meeting of the Carbon Fund in Brussels earlier this month. Carbon fund donors have agreed to, to contract for 14 million tons of emission reduction from Nepal's Parai forest. Ladies and gentlemen, after three days of your visit, you are now aware of the efforts made by Nepali people on their, for their livelihood as well as addressing climate change impacts. 
You must have also realized how essential it is preservation of Nepal's Himalaya and mountain ecosystem for the well-being of the people living in the mountains and lowland in South Asia. Farming communities are among the best managers of natural resources, most wise economists, and social architects get most vulnerable to climate change impacts as well. In this context, it is important to note that initiatives such as climate actions and biodiversity conservation should move hand in hand. I'm sure you have similar or even better reports in your countries. I'm hopeful that the experience you have gained in our field visit will add value to upcoming sessions of this conference. I'm confident that your active participation during the conference declarations will signal a strong message to the international community to support on community and ecosystem-based adaptations through enhanced finance, technologies, and capacity building. Finally, I would like to express my great happiness as Nepal selected support in planning and making this conference happen. At the end, I once again assure our firm commitment to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change Processes. I wish this conference would be memorable and contribute towards safeguarding humanity and the mother earth. I declare the closing of this inaugural session. Thank you very much.